Aloha and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner brought to you by Sakamoto Properties where prestige is our business, reputation our foundation. Thanks again to Danny Couch for getting us started today with that great song, I Love Hawaii. Got Dean Otto here in the studio with me who happens to be with us at Sakamoto Properties. I would say he's probably the top selling agent in Hawaii, if not further than that. And uh, welcome today, Dean. Thank you, Betty. Appreciate being here, and thanks for inviting me. I know the demand is pretty hot for this seat, so I'm glad to know that I outranked everyone today. You definitely outranked everyone today. I think today we're going to start off with some information on things that we do at Sakamoto Properties. You know, sometimes I think real estate people, you know, people don't understand what we're all doing, what it's all about, and yeah, we sell real estate, and that's how we're making money, and we really love doing that. However, more important is, in our office at least, we all have some tie to the community, some tie to a charity that we're working with, a school. Dean is not only a coach, and I'll let, you, I'll let him tell you a little more about what he does, but he got us a long time ago into working with Maui Prep, and at our office, Dean and Michelle, myself and Roy, and Mitch Mitchell all stepped up and signed a note that got Maui Prep off the ground. And following that, we've all worked with Maui Prep, Dean in particular, to see to it that they keep functioning and they've just had their first graduating class. Why don't you give us some details about what you've done and accomplished and where the school's going and how was graduation? All those questions. Thanks, Betty. Yeah, it was absolutely an incredible <coughs> night. Uh, the first graduating class, we had eight kids uh, graduating, um, starting out uh, their school career at Maui Prep with just 18 kids in the school and have since uh, come a long way to 185 kids. Uh, it was a momentous occasion for us. We had an absolute ball with the graduation uh, uh, ceremonies and it was a very rewarding night for us uh, having put in so many years of hard work and uh, sweat and uh, hard work and tears into this um, major project. It really was a great, uh, great night for everyone. There was a lot of red eyes in the audience, but a fantastic night. Um, you know, one, one thing, Dean, that I think would be really interesting to hear about is you said that you had a program for the seniors for the graduating class like Lahaina Luna had project graduation and some of the other kids had something but you did something really special or your group did something really special for the graduates. Yeah it was a little tricky we only had eight graduating uh, seniors so you know trying to come up with something uh, unique uh, was, was kind of fun. Uh, most of the other schools have these you know 100, 200 uh, seniors graduating and they'll have a, a pretty fun night plan so what we did is we raised some money and we sent the kids out on a what they call I guess the great race and uh, it was kind of a fun event we rented cars and they were chaperoned out around the island doing a variety of different uh, you know fun things and they had an absolute ball and they spent all night cruising around the island uh, doing all kinds of fun things I understand one of the kids drank soda out of the sock so uh, beyond <laughs> that I'm not completely sure but I know that they all had a ball but um, I wanted to just take a step back, I guess, to the beginning of Maui Prep and, and tell you a little bit about how we got involved in this uh, school. And uh, it was a very creative program that was um, designed by one of the original founders of the school. And they um, recruited 10 top realtors to participate in the program. And essentially what we did was we committed to donating portions of our commissions to the school where the school played a role in uh, someone moving over to Maui or a kid uh, wanting to come to Maui Prep. And uh, it was a pretty smart uh, program. It allowed the realtors to get some great public relations uh, press out of it, and it allowed the school to raise some much needed money to be able to make this thing happen. And uh, Roy and Betty and Mitch, as Betty mentioned earlier, and myself, participated in this program, and it was called AIM, Alliance to Improve Maui. And uh, these realtors, um, between, I think, uh, five or six have, have donated, have raised over $750,000 for the school. And uh, I'm proud to say that uh, my total fundraising, my, my total contributions to the school has been in excess of $300,000, which I'm very proud of. And uh, you know, it was a real joy for me to be at the graduation to see this all happen and the uh, fruits of our labor finally uh, seeing it all happen. It was really a fun time. Yeah, that has been an amazing thing. Great, great start for the school to begin with, using a program like that, and obviously it paid off. And uh, I think Dean has to be probably the top contributor, or one of a couple. Of, and it was interesting when you think of five of the top ten, five of them happen to have been with Sakamoto Properties. And I think that really says a lot for us as a company 
and makes us all extremely proud and of course we're all very proud of Dean and his family and everything that they're doing for the school. The great thing is that the school is doing very well and we're in a great position right now after five years of uphill battle and um, the great thing is that the kids are doing extremely well and the kids are really enjoying it and that obviously is what it's all about. Um, what was I just going to talk about? I was going to go back uh, to Maui Prep. Tom Rosenquist, I wanted to make a special mention of Tom who's a good friend of ours and a founding member of Maui Prep. A lot of the hard work and that has gone into the school was really performed and uh, driven by Tom and he's a guy that passed away unfortunately not too long ago but was a big part of that school and was a big part of the celebration of the uh, graduating class uh, last week. Yeah, I understand Tom's son was valedictorian and uh, it, it was part of what made not a red eye in the house when he took time to acknowledge how his path going through the school and I think that um, Tom obviously died young and very sad, but his children are going to live on, and they've really um, taken a huge step forward with this graduation. I think, um, you know, when I came to Sakamoto Properties, I had big shoes to fill here with uh, all of the participation in the community service that Roy and Betty have done, and, and probably Roy, I think I learned a lot from Roy at uh, one of his, um, it was an acknowledgement that uh, I think it was for 20 years of service at Holly McCoy. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing to see what Roy has done for that, uh, for Holly McCoy and the amount of time and effort that he spent doing it. And it was a great uh, acknowledgement ceremony for him when I went to the event. And uh, everyone was, the press was there, the cameras there, everyone was waiting to hear Roy's speech about why would anyone put this kind of time and effort into such a, you know, a thankless cause in a lot of ways, although I know it's been very dear to him. And uh, Roy, as everyone waited in anticipation for his speech, uh, to find out why he does this and it's simple 